Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do a video about Simon K versus BL Heli spin-up time. And what I mean by that is the delay between pulling the trigger and it spinning the motors. And if you have a look, we're talking about this. There goes the sticker. So there has been obviously a debate about the general belief that Simon K will spin up faster than BL Heli. So I wanted to have an investigation into that and do a scientific investigation, or at least as scientific as, as, scientific as I can do. Uh, so we, I wanted to bring you more options than just BL Heli, which is the DSY NS30A and the um, the Lightning, which is the current one I recommend. Big difference in size, that's why I like these, they're actually practical to fit in the Strife. And cheap, massive ones. Uh, I bought two of these, both of them smoked. One at 3S and the other one at 4S, so I can't bring you that. Uh, I did also smoke one of my uh, BL Helis and one of my motors in the making of this. And would you believe it? both of the DSYs are a waste of money. So this has turned out to be one expensive video. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, but it, uh, at least it answered the question mostly for me. Okay, there obviously is a difference in the spin-up times. This one being Simon K, and this one being BL Heli. Now on that, this is BL Heli, it's not BL Heli 32 or S. They've rewritten it in 32-bit codes. So it could be different, but uh, this is what we're comparing. And the main reason for running BL Heli, I believe at this point, is because of the ability to turn off the brake. So there is a delay, and that delay um, became interesting. So the Simon K had a delay of 2.33 FPS average, and that's at 60 FPS, and therefore each one of those frames is 16.6 reoccurring um, milliseconds. So the delay was 38.87 milliseconds. Now I decided to take this opportunity to uh, investigate another issue, which I believed to be true, where sometimes the ESCs would spin up faster than other times. Now that became very noticeable between the two different DSY 30s. Uh, one did it in the 2.33 FPS and the next one did it at almost twice, or is that more than twice? Uh, yeah, it is 5.33 FPS or 88.85 milliseconds average. So that's quite interesting. If we compare that to uh, two different ESCs running BL Heli, the, there was a, um, they were basically the same. One did an 8.33 FPS and the other one did it an 8. So that is 138.83 milliseconds or 133.28 milliseconds. Now, they doesn't matter what ESC you run, there's going to be a delay because these uh, don't have sensors in them. But the real question was, what is the delay between the two of them? So, how much better is Simon K than BL Heli, or how much worse is BL Heli than Simon K really is? Now, because there was a variance in the ESCs, uh, the, the worst case between the, the best Simon K and the worst BL Heli was exactly 100 milliseconds after the Simon K. And in, and in the best case, which is basically the worst Simon K versus the best BL Heli ESC, uh, it was 44.43 milliseconds. So is Simon K quicker? Yes. Confirmed. Mm. And how much so, I guess, is a debate. If you consider 100 milliseconds, there's 1,000 milliseconds to a second. So, mm, yeah. But there is a delay. 
and you can say it's not that noticeable. Well, actually, no, I'll take the back. I reckon it's more noticeable than it really is in reality. Now, this doesn't take into the account of how long it takes to get to top speed. This is just talking about how long it takes to start revving. So I don't know which one actually gets to the top RPM first, and that's all that really matters. However, um, so... We should all be using Simon K, one would think would be the answer to this. And unfortunately the answer is no way. Uh, because, at least in this particular example, there's a huge difference in RPM. Simon K seems to be limited at 25,000 RPM and Biohalley Lightning ESCs are not. I'll try and test that now. So yeah, before my piece of paper came off, that does 35, and uh, that one did 25. And that gets worse if we increase the uh, the battery that's on 3S, so we run it on 4S, we should get even more. So what have we learned? We've learned that counting the frames and when the light comes on to when the wheels spin, there's no um, debouncing on this, that there is definitely a, a delay of 100 milliseconds, and on these ESCs, there's definitely a RPM limiting at 25,000 RPM. And I've tried to reprogram those, and I have been unable to so far. Which I really should have been able to. Should have been able to flash them with BR Heli at least, and that would have been interesting. So we have learned that, yes, Simon K is slightly quicker. And I know you're going to have a debate about the word slightly. I've also learned that it, the quality of the ESC definitely matters, which I have always maintained. It definitely matters whether or not you buy a quality ESC or a rubbish one based on the smoking of cheaper ones and the fact that some of these have different delays. So, um, I'd love to do a follow-up one with the Afro ESC, but that's probably highly unlikely. Uh, I'll definitely be staying with the Lightning ESCs at this point. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.